In this lesson, we're going to take a look at distance time graphs, and we're going to make use of one of the gizmos. All right, and this is distance time gizmo. And in this gizmo, uh, we're going to be looking at this person running. And here we have the distance on the vertical axis. So this is our dependent variable. Time is on our horizontal axis. So that'll be our independent variable. And there's a number of ways we can change the, uh, the look of this run. And so we're looking at the distance versus the time. And we can add um, some points and we can alter these so that he's going different distances at different times. And what we're going to do is take a look at this particular example. And we're going to look using our slope formula um, at describing how he's going to run and what this run's going to appear like. So here's our graph, and we're going to look at this a little bit more closely. And on the vertical axis, as we said before, we have distance, and the distance is measured in yards. So in the first part of the graph, he goes from 0 yards up to 40 yards. And we're going to take a look at each of these sections. And then he, there's a, a second section here, a third section where that's not quite as steep as the first one, a relatively flat, sec a relatively flat section, and then... Um, one that goes up that's a little le less steep than the, the um, other three that go up to the right. And so what we're going to do is take a look at the first section. And here we go from 0 up to 40 yards, and that takes place in just under one second. And it's approximately on this about 0.8, uh, sorry, 0 0.1, uh, 0.2 seconds for each of the little grid lines. It's a little bit difficult to see on here. But this comes out to be about 0.8 seconds. So what we're going to do is take a look at the rise and the run between these two points. And so our first point is 0, 0, and our second point is 0 0.8 and 40. So what we can do is use our slope formula, and we know that if we're going from 0 up to 40, then the rise is 40. And if we're going from 0 to 0.8, then the run is 0 0.8. So we can use our slope formula, rise over run, and 40 over 0 0.8 comes out to be 50. And since we're talking about um, distance versus time, the distance is measured in yards, the time is measured in seconds, so the units for the rate here, or the slope, are yards per second. So he, this person, and they might want to test this guy, um, he's running 50 yards in, per second. In other words, he runs 50 yards each second. So we could also use the slope formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 here. And if this is our y x2, y2, then it's going to be 40 minus 0 over 0 0.8 minus 0, which again comes out to be 50 uh, yards per second. Remember, I've got rate here because you should understand now that slope is rate. It is a measurement of some sort of rate. And so we'll take a look at the second graph. And this time, um, and remember that the distance time graph is measuring the distance from the start. So all of a sudden, this guy's coming, running back to the starting line. So what we're going to do is take a look at our points here. And we're only going to use the slope formula this time. And in this case, we're going to let x2 and y2 be these coordinates, and x1 and y1 to be the 0 0.8 and the 40. So once again, um, what we're going to do is sub into our formula 0 minus 40 and over 1.6 minus 0 0.8. And one of the things you should recognize even before we do our calculation is that the slope of this line should be negative because the line is going down to the right. and so when we do the subtraction here, we get negative 40 over 0 0.8, which works out to be negative 50. And so that means that the person's running at a speed of negative 50 yards per second away from the start, of the, uh, the start line. So in other words, instead of running away from the start, the person is running towards the start. And so that's why this is negative 50. So his distance from the start line is decreasing over time. So now take a look at the second run, and this goes up 
uh, from uh, and over. And what we're going to do is estimate that this is 2.4 seconds and 20 yards. And so when we sub into the same form of the y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, we end up with 20 minus 0 over 2.4 minus 1.6. And when we do this operation, it comes out to be about 25. And you'll note that the first line here was 50, and this line is 25. And so that means that this person is running that now at a rate of 25 yards per second. Still pretty good, but not as fast as he's running here. Um, it's half of the speed that he was running. And note the steepness, that the faster the speed here, the, the steeper the line. The slower the speed, the less steep the line. So we're going to take a look at the next portion of the graph, and this is where, between these two points. And there is no rise here. The um, distance from the starting line remains constant. And so when we sub into the equation, and we're going to use 3.2 as our time, and once again, since we're not moving away from the, dist the starting line at all, the um, distance from the starting line is 20. So 20 minus 20 over 3.2 minus 2.4 comes out to be 0. So that means the person is running at a rate of 0 yards per second, which means he's not moving. And the last portion of the graph, we're going to go up and over and estimate that this is 4 point, uh, sorry, 4 and 27.5 and 3.2 and 20. And so when we do the calculation here, we end up with 7.5 over 0 0.8. And if you note the comparing the steepness out of the first, the third, and the last, the last section is the least steep. And so from before, we should recognize that since it's the least steep, he's moving away from the starting distance, he's moving away from the starting line at the slowest rate so that he is only running now at a rate of 9.375 yards per second, which is the slowest rate of these three sections where he's running away from the graph, not counting the one where he's just standing still. All right, so now what we're going to do is take a look at this, this run, and here's our guy at the bottom here, and here's 10, 20, 30, 40 yards, and so now we can actually realize that what's going to happen is when he starts off he runs fast back forth goes slowly st stops and then moves a little bit more quickly at the end and so let's take a look at it again so he's going to move quickly away from the start line quickly back in this section so quickly away quickly back a little bit more slowly he's going to stop at about the 20 yard mark and then he's going to move slowly um, a little bit more slowly forward. And so here it is again. So it goes forward, back, slower, stops, and then moves up a little bit more slowly. So that's the what you're going to have to be able to um, predict you look by looking at one of these distance time graphs is how this person's going to move. And we can also add another runner if we want. And so we're going to show his animation, and so you should be able to start predicting what this person's going to look like as far as their graph. And take a look, slowing down, back quickly, and stand still.